Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy, 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 holy. Holy, holy. Righteous, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah, keeping power, <laughs> keeping power, keeping power, <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus, 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 precious Lord, precious Lord, precious Lord, hope is in Jesus, hope is in Jesus. Life is in Jesus. It's all in Jesus. 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 <laughs> Jesus. Jesus is righteous and holy. Righteous and holy. Righteous and holy. Faithful is he unto those who, who is faithful unto him. <laughs> Did you know that? Scribe, faithful is he unto those who are faithful. Uh, to him, hallelujah, Jesus Christ loves those who love him, and Jesus Christ hates those who hate him, you see, God Almighty has a love for all of mankind, you see. But it is difficult to love someone who hates you, hates you with all of their strength. <laughs> and in addition to simply not simply hating you, they do not <laughs> even acknowledge you. <laughs> How about Coco? I don't want you to think, little scribe, that there is some special kind of thing going on here in the kingdom of God where, yes, it's possible to love those who hate you. Let me tell you what is written in your letters, child. <laughs> That God hate those who hate him. And he loves those who love him. <laughs> you see, you say in your land that it is a give and take thing. <laughs> you see. And those words are somewhat correct, child. Those who hate the Lord Jesus, the Anointed One, child, will never see the kingdom. They cannot enter the kingdom, child, nor can they see the kingdom, child, because they hate. Jesus, the anointed one. 
They hate him, child. And their reasonings for hating the Lord Jesus, the anointed one, child, is ridiculous. It is because of their own sins, their sins which has caused them to have awful calamity, incident. In their lives, or they hate the Lord Jesus, the Anointing One, for for the sins of their parents, which brought upon them a defect, maybe, and they hate Jesus, the Anointed One, for that reason, child. The people. In your land, scribe, their reasonings for hating Jesus, the anointed one, Jesus, child, is very weak, yet they keep their hate alive towards Jesus, the anointed one, child. They keep it alive by constantly reminding themselves of their defects, their calamities, and their issues and situations, and um, the both they can do it. This is blame it on the Lord Jesus, the anointed one, child. But they would not look upon themselves and See it. They will not look upon themselves, observe their own behavior, and see that they breathe calamities, issues, and problems upon themselves, child, by their wicked life. The style, child. Don't come to the kingdom all upset and angry because you have cancer and you smoke or inhale smoke in your own environment, child. Now understand that the germ cancer is already in everyone's bodies. Did you know that, child? There are certain things that move within the human body, child. That is already there, child. And in some cases, there are elements that you can end up in which will trigger uh, these germs. You see, it will alert them. It will cause them to uh, come alive, you see. Child. (laughs) Well... If mankind would stop hating the Lord Jesus, the Anointed One, maybe their little lives would go better. <laughs> uh, child. But that is another matter. There were some things, scribe, that we desire to bring to your attention today that you may give these words unto mankind, little scribe, because what we observe of mankind, child, they are troubled. They are troubled very much, child. And and it is not because, scribe of God, the thing that we say unto you, child. It is because of what they are seeing in their land now that they are opening their Eyes to become more alert of their very own surroundings, you see, child. These things that are happening within your land, scribe of God, you see, these things 
must take place, child. And the people, scribe, who are within your land, you see, they will find themselves uh, caught up. And uh, some will even panic, you see, uh, to save their lives, you see. Because there's no man which walketh your land, scribe of God, desires to die. No, not one, child. Now, there are those in your land who desire to uh, reign with the Lord Jesus Christ. They say to themselves, you see, that they cannot wait for Jesus' return and they are always crying out, uh, Lord Jesus, come and retrieve your bride from this wicked land, child. That's, that's the word that they say. Because they feel, child, that they are ready to leave the land, you see. Uh, and so they want the Lord, the Jesus, the anointed one, to return for the bride in their timing because they are tired of living, you see, and they fail to believe that they are going to reign with the Lord Jesus, the anointed one, if he should return at their command show. Isn't that quite inconsiderate of them, child? To call on the Lord Jesus, the Anointed One, to retrieve the bride at um, their convenience, child. Because at the moment, they are living so upright in their own eyes that they feel that now would be the perfect time <laughs> for the Lord Jesus, the Anointed One, to return for the bride. That child is very selfish words you see what about the rest of mankind child they do not consider how the lord jesus the anointed one had to wait on them to get their little raggedy lives together and now that they Feel that their little raggedy lives have reached a point of of glory that the Lord Jesus the anointed one should return now selfish 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 child what about the rest of humanity those are very selfish words, child, and mankind should not pray that way, child, yelling at the top of their voices, Lord Jesus, come. <laughs> Time, child, isn't it written in your letters that there is a time? For everything, child, that is the same, child. <laughs> the returning of the king will happen in its timing, child. For your people, your that's your people, little scribe, the ones who pray to the false gods that they make with nails and wood and iron and gold. That's your people, scribe. That's your people. Those are the very same people doing the very same things as the those in Sodom and Gomorrah days, child, is no different. But the men and the women which walk your land, child, will not accept that word, those words. They do not believe that they are just like 
those two wicked cities, child. <laughs> to whom do they compare themselves to then if they are not like Sodom and Gomorrah? <laughs> who, who, who are they like? Who are they comparing themselves to, child? <laughs> It is not as if they all have walked the grounds of the kingdom here, God, child, to be able to say that we are like thus and thus, <laughs> child, the men and women in your land, child, they are amusing them at times, frustrating most of the time, child. But they have their moments of amusing us here in the kingdom of God. Okay, so scribe, we're going to move forward with the words that we have for mankind which walk in your land, you see, child, for it is high time. That mankind which walk your land shall uh, do as you say in your land. They need to get it together. <laughs> child, that is what mankind need to do in your land. They need to get it together, you see. For it is high time and if mankind in your land scribe of God will simply open their eyes they will see child that things are not getting better in your land scribe they are getting worse and know this scribe of God the four Angels, which lies in the great river Euphrates, as written in the letters, you see, they have not been released yet, and still you have men and women in your land that are killing, robbing, stealing, and raping each other. <laughs> Child, they are they are doing the acts of suicide. Husbands are killing their wives. The the wives are killing their children. Child, things are very vicious in your land. Mothers are purposely starving their children. Purposely, child. It is not because they lack nutrition in the homes. No, child. It is because they bear the child out of an act of sin, that being adultery and or fornication, child. And they did not want the child, you see. So they are starving the child to death. Isn't that awful, child? And I know that your little mind cannot uh, wrap around uh, that which I am saying to you, child. But it is true, child. The men and women which walk your land, scribe of God, your people, that is your people. They are murderers, child. <laughs> and they all should end up in your natural prisons. But they would not be able to contain all of the wickedness that happens in your land, see, child. And again, the very angels, you see, who were prepared for a day and an hour and a minute 
and a month. Child, these four <laughs> were prepared, child, and they await, you see, for the angel to go down deep into the great river Euphrates, just as it is written in your letters, child. It is written just that way. That God Almighty will loose the four angels, child, which lie in the great river Euphrates, child. <laughs> and they will be loosed to kill mankind. Now that child will be a time of murder. <laughs> yes. That will be a time of murder because this is what I this is what the people in your land, scribe of God, does not understand. The land in which they live in, yeah. It is 100% natural, you see. But the spirit realm, child, and even that place in which the four angels lie, child, it is 100% spiritual, child. <laughs> there is no, uh, as you say in your land, mm. 50-50. <laughs> no, child. No, child. Just as you say that your world, your land, your people are 100% real, uh, the angels, the demons, the goblins, the devil, child, they are 100% real. <laughs> but the people in your land lack that understanding, little scribe. It's kind of sad that they're going to be uh, caught off God in some way. Because your people in your land, scribe of God, they have difficulty believing what they cannot see. But let me tell you something, scribe. If the men and women at which walk your lane could see absolutely into the spirit realm, child, they would die of a heart attack. <laughs> they would be frightened to death, child. <laughs> they would. They really would, child. They really, really would. <laughs> so, scribe of God, these words is what I desire to say unto mankind. That it, 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 that it is time for you to um, straighten up. I heard, scribe, I heard uh, Felix and Ralph. Uh, the scribe, which spoke before me, I heard them say these words, and I, I thought it was quite amusing. <laughs> uh, it is high time for mankind in your land to straighten up <laughs> and fly. Right. Scribe, I have a question. Now, I know the answer to this, but can mankind in your land fly, scribe? Hmm? I want to say this. Why do your people, scribe, say such uh, foolish things? Do, do, does, does mankind in your land desire to fly or 
you know, why do they say um, impossible things? <laughs> you know, uh, straighten up. And, okay, so if if they're flying, I need to know what the scribe of God. If if the mankind is flying, and uh, I guess they're flying uh, incorrectly because you say to straighten up. <laughs> so are they flying uh, incorrectly that you say that they should straighten up? And fly right? Are they flying in an incorrect manner uh, or, or of some way? Scribe that they need to fly right. Wait, okay, hold up. Wait, hold up. Speaker, speak. Okay, let me talk. Okay, from scribe <laughs> to scribe. Okay, let me explain. That is just a saying. Mankind cannot fly. No, we we cannot fly as 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 human beings, as individuals. No, we cannot fly. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to say exactly what you said. It's just a foolish saying. Um, we say it when uh, someone is doing something wrong. Uh, when someone is doing, uh, but like that, that like your child. If your child is acting bad in, uh, at home or at school, you would say, "Look, you better straighten up and fly right." And you know, now that I'm saying it, scribe, yes, it's it's very foolish. Um, it's incorrect. <laughs> uh, I don't have it. I don't. Okay, we shouldn't say it. It's really. Okay, you guys, those who are listening, this is Tina. Okay. It's, it's, it, it is foolish. So, I mean, if you could get away from saying it, well, of course we can get away from saying it. It's just a matter of warning. So, we do say some silly things. So, and because we say silly things, and the kingdom of God is always listening, and they're trying to figure out what are we saying, and then they're asking me a million questions that I don't know to have the answers to. So, so, I know I'm going to practice not saying it because it is just, it's just, it's just a foolish saying. So, scribe, I have no explanation for it. I don't, just like I didn't have an explanation, I mean an explanation to taking that to the bank. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I figured that scribe I, I knew I knew that you did not have an answer but I wanted to give you the opportunity to uh, you know express yourself mankind they are full of um, phrases I believe you call it um, little words uh, that you say and um, it really is a waste of, of air you know breath uh, do you squad do you know that it is God Almighty uh, which gives you the breath that you breathe on a daily basis minute by minute did you know that God Almighty can take the breath right out of you scribe do you know how mighty he is and yet mankind hates him <laughs> mankind does not understand the mind of God do they scribe who would dare to buck against an all 
Almighty God. Do you know, scribe of God, that the people who walk your land are more afraid of witchcraft than they are of God Almighty? Did you know that? They're more afraid of a witch or a warlock casting a spell on them than they are of God Almighty taking a breath right out of them. It's amazing how they give more respect to a witch or a warlock than uh, to God Almighty. Isn't that amazing? They would rather bow down and give respect. They would even crawl, child, on the opposite side of the street out of fear of a witch and a warlock. But yet they do the foul as things right in front of the eye. Of God Almighty, for He is all seeing and all knowing. And they will do the foulest things, child, and repent not. Isn't that something, scribe of God? So, scribe, what the people in your land need to understand, child, is that the many calamities that will be approaching, and that is already approaching your land, scribe of God, they should be uh, aware. They should uh, see what do you say, keep their eyes Healed. Child, how do they really? Wh- why, why do you say that also? Uh, keep your eyes peeled. Um, that really sounds very violent. Child, uh, to keep your eyes peeled. Well, uh, child, the uh, mankind which walk your land, child, they should uh, be attentive. <laughs> uh, let me use those words which I understand, scribe, because the people in your land, they say foolish things, and you don't even have an explanation uh, for them, child. You really should not speak in that manner. It's not very becoming of you, especially when one cannot explain uh, with intelligence and without uh, stammering in their speech on what these words mean. Child, get away from saying those words. It's not very becoming of a scribe to speak in such ignorant manners, child. Get away from that. Put that away. Uh, isn't it written in your letters that you should put away uh, childish thinking? When you were a child, you thought as a child. And now that you are no longer a child, you you should no longer speak as a child. Isn't that written in your letters, child? Grab hold of that and uh, let that begin in your life. Put away the childish things, child. <sighs> Leave those things, those sayings by the wayside. Abu Shandada Coca-Cola Haya. Child, so scribe, the many women which live abide in your land, child, they need to know, uh, as they already know, time, child, that time uh, will soon be called in, and uh, there will be no more time. Uh, standing in its place and uh, God Almighty will send for the angel to release the four angels in the great rivers Euphrates you see and then all of mankind <laughs> will then experience the beginning of the wrath of the Almighty God. And this is what mankind 
need to understand scribe the words in which we speak through you scribe of god these words are not your words and unfortunately even though mankind they are very attentive child to the words which come out of your mouth and understand this again because i heard one of the scribes mentioned before, child, that mankind is very curious about you, and they are quite puzzled, child, that one can communicate with the kingdom of God so often. But yet, when you read in the letters of those of old Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Enoch, Elijah, Chicham. when they read of the communication in which they had with us here in the kingdom, they believe in it, awed by it, they find it quite fascinating, and they say, I want to be like them. But here, child, here it is in a different time. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, and the kingdom of God <laughs> still speaks to mankind. It takes but a willing vessel, child. And do know, they struggle, child. They do struggle with the fact that we speak through you, child. <laughs> they struggle. Yet, they hear the uh, authentic words, child. <laughs> Mankind could not think of these words to say on their own if they tried. <laughs> See, that is why you cannot repeat the words which we speak to you, child. Because the words are not yours, you see. You cannot go behind us and say what we said. You can't. And that is what mankind needs to understand. This is of great honor uh, to be able, scribe of God, to speak unto mankind in this way. Way through such a willing vessel as yourself, you see, child. And mankind does not understand quite how this whole thing is going. <laughs> Do you know, child, that they wonder if you are hearing something in your ears and then repeating it? <laughs> Let me explain this which you hear, mankind. Let me explain to you in a very simple way how this whole thing is happening you you call it supernatural child on your television our uh, screen so when you observe your uh television screens you see you entertain uh, movies uh uh divination demonic thing that 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 is what you that is what you uh, entertain. So I'm going to have to use that which you watch on your television screens in order for you to get you to understand what I am saying. So you watch, you see, the, the demonic and devilish uh, shows, you see. And all those Shows you see, they may have a child, you see, and let's say that the child has a unclean spirit, 
Okay, now this is for your understanding. I am not saying to you that the scribe of God is entertaining any unclean, demonic spirits. I am trying to explain things to you to your weak, petty understanding. <laughs> so, you've got a child on your television screen who is uh, uh, possessed, you see. Uh, uh, who, 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 who is, who is, uh, possessed and the demons, you see, the unclean spirits, they, uh, enter into the child, you see, and they use the voice and the body of the child to speak to the children, I mean, to, to, to the people who are uh, within the room, I guess. And when a child speaks, they see the child, they hear the child, but the conversation is not of the child, you see. The conversation, the words are of that of the unclean spirits, you see. Um... And that's uh, for your understanding. You see, the child is not thinking on her own. Uh, the child is not hearing words in her ears and echoing what she hears. The conversation is absolute. And it is that of the unclean which is in her. The child is just a vessel being used, you see. That's all that is. And it, it is no different with the female scribe in which whom tone of voice you hear, you see. She has humbled herself. She has given up her own uh, wills and desires. She has a etiquette way of coming and making herself available unto us. And it is we, the kingdom of God, which finds her vessel clean and, and acceptable unto the Lord and we are able to speak through her and it is no different also than those of you who have the manifestation of the Spirit of the Lord uh, that being the Holy Ghost to where you can speak in the unknown language that which is of the kingdom those that being Holy Ghost filled and you have that manifestation of speaking in the heavenly language you do not hear anyone who speaks into your ear and then you echo the words no no these words come directly out of you because at that time you are being a yielded vessel and the Spirit of the Lord, the Holy Ghost, is speaking to you. It is no different. You see. <laughs> so do not struggle. Uh, children with the words which you hear, do not struggle. You would think, you see, that all of mankind which have the Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ abiding in them with the manifestation of tongues would be running to hear the words 
that come from the mouth of the female scribe. And in all. But do you know that is not the case? If anything, they find the female scribe strange only because they have not experienced such a thing. <laughs> and they would rather say to themselves that this is not happening than to accept that the vessel is being used mightily. But if an ass were to walk down your streets <laughs> and begin to declare the word of God, don't you know <laughs> that mankind would treat that ass as royalty? <laughs> because they are wild and amazed that an ass now declares the word of God. Let us make it a God. <laughs> but when you have a female vessel that is doing the very same thing, she does not exist in their eyes. She is uh, not real. She is a uh, fake. She is uh, pretending. Uh, they will find every negative word to say then to see that the vessel is simply being used. Do you know that mankind magnifies even now the virgin Mary? You see, the mother, the female, which bared the child Christ. Do you know that they magnify and lift her up simply because she was used to carry the anointed one? That is all that she did. She bared the child Christ. And even right now in your land, mankind honor her, has made her a saint and a god. And what she did, she bared a child. <laughs> and here you have this female, which the kingdom of God speaks through declaring the words of God and no one sees her. <laughs> Isn't that strange? Isn't that strange? <laughs> uh, but mankind do know this. That it all things are noted here in the kingdom of God, you see. We watch mankind in every act and idle thought of mankind are written in the books here in the kingdom of God. There is not an act or a thought that is not written here in the kingdom of God. <laughs> uh, the whole, and we make a note of those who say negative words concerning the female scribe. <laughs> uh, along with every other thought that they may have. You see, it is a very sad, sad day when mankind would run to see an ass speak and not 
run to hear the words of the kingdom of God through a female scribe. God is great and greatly to be praised. He is so great and he is greatly to be praised. From the rising of the sun until the going down of that very same son, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ is to be praised and mankind must begin to practice magnifying and acknowledging the Lord Jesus the Anointed One as being your Lord and your God for it cometh upon the land quickly you see the removing of time and the releasing of the four angels. It comes, it comes, it comes, and the men and the women in your land will begin to cry out for peace. Peace, peace. Let there be peace in the land but as a female witness spoke earlier that there will be no peace the peace in which you will hear of will be a false peace there will be no peace in your lands, people, no peace. There will be no peace in your land, you see. There will be great offense in your land. Pride will raise up its ugly head. Hatred will rise up its ugly head, you see. There will be no peace in your land. But God Almighty has warned you. And these words are for the, the, the bride of God. These words that I speak now are for the bride of God. God Almighty has already told you not to panic when these things begin to happen in your land when the four angels are released in the great river Euphrates. Do not panic do not panic for you will be sealed with the mark of the kingdom a beautiful hand picked jewel will be placed in your forehead and the angels and the armies that will be released with the angels will see the jewel on your forehead and they will pass by. Now know and understand this, bride of God. You will experience some calamities, you see, because you will be currently in the land. Though the angels and their armies are released and you are sealed, you must still stand until the retrieving of you, you see. 
Do not think that you will um, go through the complete and experience the absolute wrath of God Almighty. No, no. You will be removed in time. But until then, you are to stand your ground and know that God is your salvation. Speak the word always. And the word or way should you speak. Speak the word always. And always speak the word. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. And lean not to your own understanding. Do you understand what I am saying to you people in the land? As I speak these words through the female scribe. Do not panic. Do not run. There is nowhere. You will be able to run. All things are done in obedience uh, to the Lord Jesus Christ. Even the releasing of the four angels in the great river Euphrates, even that is done in obedience. Children, know that God Almighty is in <laughs> Control of that matter. Trust in the Lord your God and lean not <laughs> to your own understanding.